Sometimes, a man will come up to me and say, it is so hard to handle how my wife speaks to me. So harsh, so insensitive. And sometimes a lady will come up to me and say, it is so difficult to tolerate the idiosyncrasies of my husband, digging of the nose or biting of the nails. At other times, grown-ups will come to me and tell me how it is extremely difficult to handle the unsophisticated behavior of their simple parents in an urban setting, social gatherings, parties. And at other times, parents will come up to me and tell me that they feel so pained by how their children control every aspect of their lives. I'm sure many of you watching this video are relating to what I'm trying to say. When people come to me and talk to me about these kind of issues in relationships, I tell them a story. There was a group of porcupines who lived in a forest on the outskirts of a small town. One year, during the winter, temperatures dropped 20 degrees below zero, minus 20 degrees Celsius. All of the porcupines gathered together to discuss ways, to discuss a strategy to survive the winter. As they came together, they realized the temperatures of their bodies put together had created a warmth. They felt hopeful that they can now survive this cold winter. There was a problem, however. Porcupines have these sharp, poking quills. And each porcupine can have as many as 30,000 quills. Whilst they were all together, each of their quills were poking someone else in the group. One of the porcupines just couldn't handle this. He said, I cannot tolerate this any longer and left the group. As this porcupine was now alone in the forest, reality dawned upon him that he cannot tolerate this cold winter alone. He had a choice. Be uncomfortable together, tolerating some of the sharp poking of the quills of the other porcupines, but survive the winter based on the warmth, or to be alone and comfortable and die out of the cold, frigid winter. The porcupine returned back to the group, and as he entered and huddled into the group, he experienced the warmth and survived the winter. In our relationships as well, there's always a package deal. We can experience the warmth of meaningful, loving relationships. But that warmth of love comes with another dimension as well. The sharp poking of the quills, digging of the nose, insensitive speech unsophisticated behavior. Next time when you're being poked by the sharp quills of your spouse, your parent, your siblings, your colleagues or your friends, just remember the story of the porcupines and make your choice. You can either get the warmth of love and will have to tolerate some poking of the quills or you can comfortably be alone by yourself and miss out on the most amazing deep bondings and the warmth of love. The choice is always yours.